If I had like a hundred buildings in this complex. And uh, so, and it's cold as a devil. And I get hung up because I can't deliver. I cannot find the building. I cannot find where the unit would be. It makes no sense. Um, they've got random numbers kind of everywhere, which means they built the buildings at different times. Um, you'll notice that with addresses, especially in Florida. You'll go down a street and all of a sudden you're going 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. All of a sudden you're at number three for some reason. And it's because those properties were built way before all that other stuff. So the numbers aren't going to work right. You have to drive the whole street to try to locate it, even with a GPS, because uh, they built some properties before others. That might have been the only house on the entire street before they built all that other stuff. So anyway, that's the way they did this complex. It was horrendous size complex and all gated. And what a nightmare. Cold as a devil. I'm texting DoorDash. I'm texting a customer. Can't get an answer. And the customer's like, well, you know, uh, that's the address. I'm like, are you sure that's the address? Because I've asked a couple people, residents here walking around, they don't know, you know, where, where that building is, whatever. And so, anyway, it was just a living mess. DoorDash had us hung up for two hours. In the freezing cold, because I couldn't keep the engine running, because I burn your catalytic converter up, um, sitting around with it running like that, and so I had to like turn it off, then turn it on, then turn it off, and then turn it on. Cold is the devil, and I'm trying to get the DoorDash rep because you can't call them; they'll never answer. You had to text back then, and you had to wait in line, and it it would be like a one thousand quo, and it would take forever to get them. And so I'm like going back and forth and um, with the rep and they're like, well, um, you know, did you text the customer? What's the name on the, the order and where was the order from and blah, blah, blah. And it was like, dude, why can't they see this on the computer? So we're going round and round and round and they're trying to call the customer. Customer will answer. Um... Finally, customer texts me and says, where's my food? And I said, well, I've been in this complex, you know, for almost two hours. And um, that's, you couldn't put a timer on the order back then because DoorDash rep had to do it. They had to physically set a timer on your phone. And when they turned it on, then it would count down. And it would be like a 10-minute timer. When that timer went out, that party was over. And you did what everyone did with that food. And DoorDash was real famous for saying, donate it to the homeless, you know, um, or throw it away. And, um, you know, in that amount of time, food quality is going down. I mean, damn. It's garbage. You know, after about 30 minutes, it is not the quality that it was at the restaurant. That's for sure. Um, I would be very disappointed if somebody brought me food like that. So anyway, the girl was like, well, it's cold. And I said, well, look, I'm, you know, in a white Mercedes. And no, I brought my Cadillac, I think, that night. Um, and I said, uh, uh, I'm in a white Cadillac. And um, I'm by the the uh, this building and that building near the front gate. Unless you want me to leave it at the gate. Um, and I say, but next time you need to meet us at the gate or, you know, uh, know your address. Well, it was a big Mickey Mouse mess. Finally, after like two hours and 15 minutes, she sends some guy to drive around to go get her food. Well, and, you know, I'm like, we sat there for two hours freezing cold. And she was worried about being cold. It's like, dude, you know, pizza man delivers. You used to have to chase them all the way down the streets because they could never find your house. You'd be waving them down out on the street, you know. So anyway, um, uh, we were just getting ready to go. 
because DoorDash just would not cut loose to that order. It was terrible. They had finally set the timer. And um, I'd already texted and said, look, that DoorDash has already put a timer on this. When the timer runs out, we're gone. Because, you know, I I've lost deliveries in two hours on this order, which I was only getting paid like $5 for that order, okay? Um, but my thing is, I do a lot of orders, you know? But you can't if you're stuck for two hours. So, anyway, some guy comes up real nice, black guy, real young, drives up in a car. He pulls up right next to my car, because my car is the only one like that in the complex, and was really nice, and apologized everything, gave him the food. And uh, then I left, and my pay was a joke. I think I got like a dollar fifty for that, because they took all the peak pay bonuses out of it and everything else. Um, because it was way too late. And then, of course, your rating gets jacked. And, um, you're sweating bullets over that, too. Uh, and, oh, what a mess that was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. I had another order that was in Mobile on another occasion where we went to... Um, it was like a Burger King or something like that. One of those burger joints. Uh, the fast food drive through thing. Oh, and that, that place, oh, oh, every time we went there, we must have did, we were there two days. We must have did like 30 orders with that same joint. Uh, and they were good paying orders. But the problem was, if they had zero customers... Or they had five. It would take them 30 minutes to come up with the food. And, you know, we park and one of us goes in to go get the food. She went in to go get food, was waiting, waiting, waiting. And it was like, oh. and if you declined an order, it was a big hairy deal. It was like hatchet thing back then. Boy, you just, you didn't want to be declining orders. You had to get a DD rep to cancel the order. And, um, and then you had to suffer the bad rating, you know, which could get you fired. So, anyway, um, we got this order. It took, like, 38 minutes for the flipping order. And they didn't have a customer there. Not one. And it was, like, 6 o'clock at night. So, I'm driving around, driving around. And I can't find this address. And then, I. Uh, I look it up again. Oh, on that last order, the girl gave us the wrong address. It's, I'm like, you don't know where you live? And she was like, uh, I don't know. We just rented the place. They were they were tourists. I had only rented that apartment there for to visit. That's why it was so screwed up on that other order. Um, but anyway, so I pull over and I contact DoorDash and I said, look, there is something wrong with this address. I said, and I'm not in a good area. I'm in the dark. And there was like this two penny liquor store on the corner was like the only thing open. And it was uh, on the back streets of Hoodoo Town. Uh, whoa, was it creepy. And um, I'm sitting there in a real nice car um, with my daughter. And um, because we run duo, you know, when we're door dashing. And uh, dude. We text a rep, wait for 500 countdown in the quo, finally get the rep, and the food is late, uh, and, you know, customers text me, like, why aren't you bringing the food? And so, the rep gets on there, and they go back and forth, put you on hold, go back and forth, put you on hold, and this is way back, way back, you know, when DoorDash, like, I think that was when we just started. We grand opened Mobile, Alabama. And so, uh, uh, anyway, we're going back and forth. And this thing is taking like an hour and a half. Because it's like, God, when you text a rep, they will screw you up. You will not make any money. You can't get orders. You can't deliver an order. You got to sit and play with them and argue with them until you can get them to do something. But you got to be kissing their butt because you can get fired if you're nasty to a rep. So, anyway, um, it's like, look, it's cold. 
uh, you know, it's really creepy over here. It's real dark. I'm in a bad place. Um, you know, I need to like drive somewhere else so that I could talk to you if you don't get this sorted out soon. It turns out the order now I'm, I'm in Mobile, Alabama. It turns out the order was supposed to be in Miami, Florida. Because when I GPSed it, I told her, I said, the only address I got coming up on a GPS is Miami, Florida. And that's like 441 miles away. And, and she's like, well, you need to deliver. I said, look, let me tell you something. I said, one, this is like a six-star order. And I'm not driving to Miami, Florida tonight. Got me? For Burger King. And she was like, oh, well, I don't understand. You accepted the order. You need to deliver the order. And it's like talking to a robot. And I'm, I'm like, I said, look, I'm just telling you. I'm in a creepy place. Now I've got creepy people start walking around my car now. You know, and, you know, I'm going to get carjacked here in a minute. And I said, I got to do something and do something now. And, and so, you know, the rep's like, well, hold on. And da, da, da. I said, look, I mean, it's real easy to figure out. Something went wrong in the computer. That's why I have an order that's 441 miles away. And obviously, I can't make 441 miles. Love to go. But I can't make 441 miles tonight. It's not happening. You know? I'm already in the darkness now. You know? And I've been playing with this for like an hour and whatever. So, anyway, finally the rep is like starting to get it together. Because they didn't want me to leave because I'm on the GPS. Because they're thinking I'm near the house and I'm not near the house. The place is 441 miles away. So, anyway, finally, they they canceled the order out. And I'm like, oh, thank God. They're like, give it to the homeless. I'm like, cool. So, finally, they cut me loose because you can't even get an order because they've got your app locked up while they're playing with it back then. So, it, it takes forever to get out of it. Sometimes you have to call them back or text them back to get them to unlock it because it didn't unlock the first time. Um, it's a mess. Uh, so, um, uh, we're driving along and the phone rings and it says, uh, DoorDash rep. And I answered the phone. Um, got it on speaker. And because I, you know, I was trying to drive out of that really creepy place in a hurry so I could get downtown and get another order, uh, in a, in a really good area where I was like hanging out at. It wasn't the listed hot spot. Um, so, uh, all of a sudden this girl says, what about that order? Da, da, da. I said, look, I just got off the phone with the DD rep and you know, that order is 441 miles away. And, you know, we already took care of that. And they're like, what did you do with the food? And I said, gave it to the homeless. And, uh, so, uh, they were like, so what'd you do that for? And they started yelling at me. And then I said, well, who are you? Let me get your name. Because I'm like, I'm going to report this DD rep. It turns out it's the customer. So you couldn't tell if it was a customer or a DD rep because it would come up on your phone as DoorDash rep. And it was like, dude, don't ever answer the phone again. Because these customers are calling and we can't tell. Because they, they uh, were just starting to do masked numbers, but it didn't always work. So sometimes when a customer would call, it would be masked, but it would say DoorDash Rep. And it would come through the California number, that 650 thing. So, don't ever answer the phone when you're driving. It's not worth all that. Uh, so that was definitely interesting. Um, and, uh, it turned out that the girl had given the wrong address. And so it was a lose-lose deal altogether. And she was mad as hell because she wanted that food. And it was like, I was not happy because I lost so much money because I could turn a lot of, a lot of orders in an hour in that area. Because uh, I knew where to go. 
I could go boom, 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 keep doing them. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, that's some interesting story. But, uh, the, the over 400 mile trip to deliver some burger. And I'll be back to tell you some more later. But yes, I've been through tons and tons of weird, weird, weird situations. Um, from on the verge of violent to totally hilarious. Um, driving in circles. Uh, bogus addresses. People using other people's accounts. Using hot credit cards, whatever. You will never believe some of the stuff I have been through. But whatever you do, if anything gets weird, the first thing you want to do is text a DoorDash rep. If you have the patience, call them. It's a lot faster today, though. Um, uh, they always contact a DoorDash rep if anything gets weird. Um, especially if they're trying to change food on the order, or ask for extra stuff, or change addresses on you. Any of that, don't, don't even comment on it. Just text a rep immediately and say, look, this customer is telling me to call this other phone number, or they're telling me to take it to this other address. Or they want me to get this, that, and the other, and the restaurant's going to charge me extra for that. Um, because you have to be careful what you charge on a red card anyway. Um, it ha it's supposed to be for the amount of the order. Um, and you'll be real lucky if it clears if it's like 2 or $3 over. Because they ship the money to the red card in the moment for that order. They don't just leave it on there. So... And it's a violation of DoorDash if you abuse that card. Even if you try to buy a soda for yourself, you will get fired. So, anyway, that's some wild DD stories. So, if you've got a cool DD story, comment below and tell us all about it. Okay? Right down there. Just click open that box. And, and right below it, you'll see the comments. And tell us all about it. And, um, otherwise... I hope that the money tree crashes on your stage, and I hope you have a really awesome DoorDash day. All right, love you, everybody. Have a great one. Talk to you later. Do something kind for a stranger.